beautiful boat. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Beams. In this episode we're talking to renowned multi-hole designer Tony Granger. Tony's going to be explaining to us the difference between weight and displacement. Over to you Tony. What's the difference between weight and displacement? In physics there's no difference, it's the same thing. Take this water bottle and put it in the water it creates a hole in the water and the amount of water that's been displaced by that hole is exactly equal in weight to the weight of the object that we've put in the water. This is a basic fundamental law of physics. There's no argument about it. So what is the argument? The argument is about terminology. When we start a new design, whether it's a model or a drawing, we establish a, what we call the datum water line. And everything that goes in the drawing or the model is above or below that datum water line. Now, to draw the hull, we have to know reasonably accurately what the boat's going to weigh. So, for example, we might say we're, we're designing a 10 ton boat. So we put a hole under that line that will fill 10 tons of water and kick off the drawing. The problem is when we start the boat, there is absolutely no way we can know exactly what that finished boat's going to weigh. And there's a number of reasons for that. If it's a boat that's very similar to other boats we've done, if it's a, a boat that's being built by a builder that we've worked with in the past, if it's a boat for an owner, who we know will fairly rigorously stay with the specifications that we're working with, no problem. We can pretty well guarantee that the finished boat will be within two or three percent of, of the weight that we've determined to start the design. If any or all of those three factors are not so well known, the boat could end up six, seven, eight percent, maybe even more distant from that figure that we're aiming at. So the figure that we start the design with, it's not the weight of the boat, it's the designed displacement. It's the displacement that we're hoping for. It's the displacement that if we get it right, the boat will sit exactly on the line that we've drawn on the plans or, or where we've established the body of the boat in the model. All right, Tony, thank you very much. That was a great explanation. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, please comment below and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Behind the Beams. Thank you.